Hello, in this video, I'll be showing you how you need to set up your flow in Loom Suite so that when people DM you a keyword, you can automatically reply, or when they comment on your post, you can automatically reply to the comment and also send whoever comments on your post a DM. So, the first thing you need to check is you need to import your Instagram account and Facebook page into Loom Suite. Connect your Facebook account to your Instagram account and import the two into Loom Suite. So let me check where I imported my own account. I click this connect account. You can see I have uh, so many Facebook pages here, but this one has been linked with my Instagram account. So I am and I've been able to put on the boot. If you have not put in on the boot, it's going to be like this. So you need to click this to put on the boot. Let's assume I want to create a flow for this car, uh, bright cars. I will click this and I will put on the boot, a navy boot connection. You are going to see the success. You can see it and you will click OK. This is the first thing you need to do. I talked about this in the last video, but if you have not done that, you need to do it now. Then after doing that, you should note that Loom Switch works for Facebook and Instagram. You will see this is the Facebook part and this is the Instagram part at which you can set up your flow. But in this case, we are setting up this flow for Instagram. So what, I'm, what I need to do is to click this boot manager. So it's going to take me to this page. And the next thing is to click create new flow. I will just click create new flow. And it's going to take you to the flow builder of Loom Suite. This is the flow builder of Loom Suite. So the first thing you need to do is to double click this, start boot flow. Just double click it, double click the components and put the title. I have the, the title I want to use is this demo flow. This is the title I want to use demo flow. I put it here. Then I will put a keyword here. These are the keywords I want to use. I want to use these two keywords just for demonstration. The reason why I'm using this keyword demo uh, ebook one and motion one is due to the fact that I don't want to use the, the keyword ebook. So that if I use the keyword ebook, when someone is trying to communicate with me or trying to chat with me in my DM and they type ebook. The, this flow we are trying to build now is going to trigger. But if I put one by the end of it, it's not going to trigger. So if you are trying to tell people to send you a DM, send me so 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 keyword in a DM. Send me motion one in my DM. Try to be doing, doing it in such a way that it is not a common keyword that they can use when they are, when they are chatting with you in your DM. So that's all about that. Put your keyword, put your title and click done. So the next thing for you to draw to the canvas is this text. Just draw it to the canvas. When you draw it to the canvas, connect it to this. And the next thing you need to do is to draw this button. You draw it out. This is the button they are going to click. You know, when they comment on your post, you are going to send them a DM. What they are going to receive in their DM is the flow we are building now. And again, the flow can also be triggered if they send any of this keyword to your DM. So let me now put the test I want. I have everything I want here. This is the test I want. I just want to say thank you and I'll put this text. You can put your own text and you can give a space and you can use emoji. You can as well use emoji. So let me just put emoji. And when you are done, Okay, let me cancel this and uh, go back. Yeah, so you click done. So the next thing is to double click this button and the button text, put the button name here, which is the button text. You can say download now or visit, visit the website or whatever you want to put here. Then you select this, you, you select redirect to URL. So you put the name of your website there your website address this is the one i'm putting in this demo video and you click done then you click save you will see the pop-up button you can see the sources underneath here so this is to tell you you are done with one part 
of the comment automation so this is the second part of the video from this same place just click this back button or you go to this uh to this other tab if you click the back button after you have saved your flow it will take you to the main dashboard then i can click this i can click this and click main dashboard i'm just i just want to go back to the main dashboard when i get to when you get to the main dashboard so you come back to instagram tools under instagram tools you click this comment manager what we did first is to set up the reply we are going to send to the dm of anyone that comments on our post that is the reply we are going to send to their dm that is the message we are going to send to their dm now where you click this comment manager so what you are going to do now is is click this all post list click on it when you click on the all post list you will see full account comment reply this full account comment reply means when you set up your flow here when you set up your automation here regardless of end of, of the post on your page this automation keyword we want to set up is going to reply your comment is going to reply if they comment the keyword on any of your posts but if you want it's to be on a single post. You are going to select the post here, which I'm going to make another video for that. But in this video, we are making this automation for the old account. It means, let's assume you want people to comment motion. If you, if you set up as I'm going to be showing you now, by the time, if anyone comments this motion on any of your posts, this comment automation is going to trigger but it's not likely what is there is why we are doing this is because by the time you set this up once you can be using it till anytime you want you can be using you you you, you can set up like five or six keywords that you are going to be using for your product it can be motion it can be ebook it can be or uh, it can be anything so in any case you just need to post you just need to go and post on instagram and your automation is already there so in the case of using a post like this in the case of using a post like this which i'm going to demonstrate it in another video when you do the post when you finish doing the post you will then come to edit the post here when you post on instagram it's going to show in loom suit then you will come here to edit it but in this case you just need to to do it for the whole of your page and when you ask them to comment motion on this one it's going to trigger comment in book on another one is going to trigger so what you need to do now let me minimize this is to click this button in your own case if you are new you are only going to see one button there only one button you just click the button but in this case i've been able to set it up before i just want to edit then i'll click edit then make sure you click do you want to reply comment multiple times what this one means is if you ask people to comment motion or comment background and someone has already put up a comment before the person noticed that he is supposed to comment background when the comment background again is not going to answer the the flow is not going to trigger but by the time you put this on it means it will reply comment multiple times then you select this send comment reply by filtering keyword then you put the name this is just a name it's not going to show in your automation it's just a name you can give it main campaign flow you can give it any name you want main campaign flow or any name you want then you choose this reply if any matches occur in the filter reply if any matches occur in the filter so that if people send you now let's say this is how much i put how much if people send you ebook and uh, if you want sorry if you want people to send you ebook and someone say send the ebook send the ebook in the comments so far this ebook is in their sentence it is going to reply that is that is the meaning of this so you are going to select that it is better you select that then you put the keyword at which we want them to comment 
to get your offer. You want them to comment ebook. You just put ebook. You can put comma. Then you put e. Then space book again. You know there are some people where you ask them to comment ebook. They will put e separately and they will put book separately. So you do this also. Then what comment do you want to reply them? You want to reply their comment. What is the comment? Comment reply text. When they put ebook, you want to reply them that check your DM. It's in your DM already. Those are the things you are going to put here. But, but before you start that, so we are in the comment now. The comment you want to reply. Um, let me copy. I have my own comment and I will explain to you the best way to do it. Let me just copy it. Copy. You can put emoji in your comment. We have emojis here. But you need to start your comment with, or well, you want the two to be get, uh, take get, um, rolling out variety of comments. Maybe check your DM. It's in your DM already. So what you need to do is to bring this bracket sign. Look at this bracket sign. It is not a common bracket sign. Let me show you here. It is this, this bracket sign. Minimize. This bracket sign, you can see it. This bracket sign, you use it to start. Then you say, hey, we sent you a DM. This is the first one. So we want to have series of comment reply. So this is the first one. Another one, you are going to use this. What is uh, this bar called? It is called a vertical bar. You put it. Then you put out another comment reply. Thank you for your comment. Check your DM for more information. Here is another one. Here is another one again. You put another vertical bar to put another one. You put another vertical bar. Then you close it with the this bracket sign. Not the common bracket sign, the other one. You close it with this. So that is how to reply your comment. When you are done with that, you now select, you refresh this list. You refresh. You should remember that the, the flow we created, the name is demo flow. So you will look for your demo flow here. You click this. You look for your demo flow. Demo flow. You can see. You select your demo flow. And you come down and click update or save. You come down and click update. It will be saved. It means whenever anyone send this, comment this keyword under your post, this is, any of this is going to be your comment reply. And this flow is going to be sent to their DM. If you need to set up another keyword, all you need to do is to start from the beginning of this video. You create the uh, the reply template, then come here to do this. Thank you, and I'll see you in another video.